Marking the end of the day, it is the sound so many of us looked forward to in school. But data shows fewer kids are hearing that bell as enrollment issues continue and thousands of public schools nationwide are at risk of closing. It's a trend that began with the pandemic and continues to persist. According to the Department of Education, in 2023, 1.8 million fewer students enrolled in public schools nationwide compared to 2019. Fewer students means less funding for schools, and with federal funding dwindling, schools are closing. Jackson, Mississippi has seen 11 schools close their doors, some of which experienced a 30% drop in enrollment since 2018. That trend is not exclusive to Mississippi. A Brookings Institute study showing that about 1 in 10 elementary schools and middle schools in the U.S. saw more than a 20% decline in enrollment, up from 5% in the years leading up to the pandemic. This points to troubling days ahead for the American public school system. We're expecting a lot more school closures in the next year or two as a result of the federal relief money running out. With enrollment threatening public schools across America, it is not the only crisis they face. Unlike Ferris Bueller's lighthearted depiction of playing hooky, it has become a growing problem for U.S. schools. The number of students missing 10% or more of school days nearly doubled from the 2018-2019 school year to 2021-2022. Federal data analyzed by Johns Hopkins shows nearly 30% of students nationwide were chronically absent during the 2021-2022 school year. That equates to more than 14 million students missing 18 or more school days, only adding to the pressure piling up on the public school system. In contrast, homeschooling rates skyrocketed since the beginning of the pandemic, and private schools saw an increase in enrollment as well. Still, researchers at the Brookings Institute say that does not account for the total drop in enrollment at public schools. Other researchers cite the declining birth rate in the U.S. and the record levels of migration out of certain cities as playing a part in the enrollment decline.